Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve the error alert that you may receive while getting a blue screen that says IRQL not less or equal. Now this error will typically occur after the installation of a buggy device driver, system service, or BIOS update. This error will typically indicate that a kernel mode processor driver attempted to access memory, which did not have permission to do so and then you will promptly receive this error alert. So I'm going to go over a way in order to resolve this issue as quickly as possible. So what we're going to do is head over to our search bar. It does not matter if we're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10. We're just going to try and type in memory diagnostic and there should be a desktop app on if, it says if you're on Windows 10 and that is what will come up on other versions of Windows. It'll still have the same icon you want to left click on that. Then you want to left click on restart now and check for problems, which is recommended. So this will take a few moments. And once the computer is restarted and the scan is going, I will be back. Okay, so the computer has restarted and now it's running the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. So we're going to let this thing just run as it goes and I will be back once the test is complete. Hello everybody, I'm back, so the computer restarted. If the error is still appearing for you, um, there's another option we can go to, and that'll be to go to our search menu again, and we want to type in device manager. On the little drop down arrow next to disk drivers, click on it. And now we see we have a disk driver here. And we want to double click on it. Now we want to go up to the policies tab. Now we want to left click on quick removal. This should be the first option here. Then we want to left click on OK. Now you might get an alert here saying the system settings were changed, your hardware settings have changed, you must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. Do you want to restart your computer now? We're going to left click on yes. So that is the second option we can explore. Once the computer restarts, hopefully your computer will not be receiving this error alert. If that still does not resolve your issue, the third method would entail removing peripheral devices from your computer, meaning if you have any USB sticks, flash drives, mouse, keyboard, speakers, anything that's using a USB port or any device that's not really required for your computer to run, try testing your computer by unplugging them from the computer tower or laptop and see if the computer issues are resolved. Again, that would be the third method if this does not work for you. So again, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and fixed most of your guys' concerns. This tutorial cannot apply to everybody, but hopefully in most cases this will work. So again, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.